but the referee wasn't to know that. And unless they put the uh, blood bin sign up, informs the touch judge that he's coming off, then it's classed as a substitution. Yes, we certainly uh, saw uh, Gary Schofield uh, go off the field whilst uh, Castleford were taking the uh, the conversion following the Middleton try. There definitely was no consultation uh, by Schofield or anyone else. All the scrums going uh, with the head. Ken. Blackmore. To where any car. Ooh, just tried to get that ball away. It was well clumped by Rich Years. So it's leads again back to the full complement of 13. And uh, Rich Years offside. Number 12, Mr. Cummins telling him he was standing at the side of the play of the ball, not making any effort to retire the statutory 10 metres. So the kick, as no doubt instructed by John Joyner there via the walkie talkie down to the bench, the Castleford coach. I think a quick one, Ray. Uh, the wind has got up in over half time, and that could have a determining factor in the second half. Schofield's first kick of the half went out on the full almost. It certainly has, and this uh, wind now favouring uh, Castleford. It is coming around at their backs as Tony Smith puts it down this uh, short side. Well held there by uh, Schofield and Richie uh, Russell at the acting half-back position to Kemp. Kemp driving to the pulse. Again, well held by his uh, Kiwi colleague. Gary Mercer, Nickow, another Kiwi, almost getting there, just a yard short. Desperate defence here by Lees, note how they've compressed that defence around the ruck. Castleford taking advantage of any gap out wide, Lee Crooks couldn't get the ball away. But clever play there by Castleford. Leeds compressed the defence, as they should do around the ruck there, to stop any man at the play of the ball getting over. Castleford threw it wide. Kemp to Crooks here, looking for the short pass, the short close play, but unfortunately the ball spilled from his hands. Significant if Castleford would have scored there. Lee, in fact, uh, Terry, I think was in two minds, and I think he was almost contemplating a grubber kick again. Yes, he had he had many options in front of him, and, uh, you know, he obviously was a little bit confused, and it uh, came to nothing. Ellery Hanley trying to... Inspire leads, get them away, trailing by 14 points to eight. Gary Schofield, a good kick this time, against the wind. And uh, Jim Fallon, a little uh, groggy, taking a knock. Leads on the attack, driving in, Gary Schofield. A little bit of a argument between Tony Morrison and... Uh, Richie has settled on their own away from play. The rest of the team is not really bothering. Leeds looking for the score. George Mann driving for that corner. Nice dummy by the Kiwi. Leeds on the attack. And the penalty. Interference at the play of the ball. So another six tackles to Leeds. Gary Schofield to Holroyd. Holroyd, short pass to Richie Ayres. Well held by Andy Hay, number 12, getting through an awful lot of tackling the second row from Cass. Mercer, back to Innes. We haven't seen the ball out too much to this uh, Innes and uh, Cummins wing for a while. Holroyd, Schofield, will he use that long pass? He does, to Iro, steps inside. He's a powerful man when running up the defence. Just five metres short. Hanley, using the short side. Good pass to Fallon. Good pass inside, back to Hanley. This is good rugby from Leeds. Schofield gets it away, picked up by Tate. Still Leeds on the attack. Castleford tackling for the dear lives. Four tackles gone in this sequence. Holroyd, good pass to Craig Innes. Just held. Another penalty, it's another six tackles to uh, Leeds, Castleford, offside. Leeds making them run, making them move. 
Get it to Tate, out wide, he's got Iroh inside him. Tate going for the line himself. Well held by Blackmore. Superb handling skills from the home side here. Mercer, he'll not want to be pushed into touch. Jim Fallon, using that powerful frame, driving for the line, back to Hanley. Hanley! Well held. Superb tackling by Castleford. Still leads onslaught at them. Holroyd, he delayed. Puts the kick in. Oh, picked up by Francis Cummins. And the knock on. Well, a try gone begging, but what a spate of play, Joe. From both teams, great handling skills shown by the Leeds team and great defence by Castleford. To keep Leeds out there for what must have been 15 tackles. Here comes the kick. If this ball had stuck in Cummins' hands, it would have been four points. And it was a pinpoint kick, Teddy, wasn't it? Yes, it just dropped between the two cast players, but he just lost it from his grab. He'll be disappointed, Cummins, though. Nickel. hit him and Jim Fallon doesn't look too good he's hobbling there but of course he can't really go off Leeds have used up all their substitutions on the fifth tackle Kemp and that's professional play Tony Kemp knew that uh, Jim Fallon was uh, wounded as it were on that wing he put the kick in that direction Iro having to go back to pick it up it was noticeable then Ray in the background that Leeds were Quite a few of the Leeds players slow to get back and help to, uh, Kevin Arrow them. Yes. This Leeds pack putting an awful lot now into this uh, opening ten minutes in this uh, second half. They've got to haul themselves back in the game, but uh, no denying the ferocity of the Castleford uh, defence. Back to Hanley. Mercer. Finding any way through. And Castleford's uh, defence driving leads back in the tackle. Holroyd, harassed once again by Tony Smith, who gets a good kick away. A long kick. That was a great kick, almost makes a mockery of the win. Yes, because it's uh, Leeds who are facing the win. I think at times, Ray, the attack is a little bit desperate from Leeds. They really do feel they've got to score first in this half. Well, that was a lack of concentration by Castleford. Richard Blackmore there losing the ball. Just took his eye off it at Acton half back. Decided where he was going before he received the ball. Leeds to have the head and ball and attack again. They've averaged 34 points a match this uh, season, 60 tries already with this quality rugby. Innis. But it's Castleford with the points on the board. 14 8, 49 minutes gone. Richiers loses it. Gratefully received by Richie Blackmore. Middleton. Sure that Castleford will be looking to move slowly down the field with this set of six and then a good kick and chase and try and pin Leeds back in their own 20 and hopefully put a bit of pressure on them. And uh, Tony Kemp uh, just uh, trying to relieve that pressure with that uh, long kick. Sends Alan Tate racing back, but good uh, support there, tremendous support from the Castleford wing, Chris Smith. Chasing well at Castleford, Ray. Uh, there are about five or six players down on that kick, and uh, they're certainly not letting Leeds get on top at all in this half. Ooh. For Jim Fallon, well, he was hobbling not long ago, gets a nice pass back inside to Iroh. Leeds really throwing this ball around at 100 mile an hour. Can Castleford hang on? Tremendous uh, fitness on uh, the visitors' part. George Mann. Mercer. Alan Tate. 
Leeds moving at 100 mile an hour here. Neil Harmon, the, the substitute prop, and it's another offside decision. Leeds are throwing around 100 miles an hour, but they seem to be lacking that little bit of direction. It seems to be going from one side to the other. Castleford, to all credit, to defending very well. And um, it just needs a little bit of guidance from somebody. Yeah, some incisive run is necessary, Joe, just to straighten the attack up. And I think they could uh, give it one or two tries from that. I agree with you, Terry. I think Leeds need to settle it down a little bit and use up one or two tackles just to set up the position. Here they are, I think they're doing that now. Harmon driving in. Castleford still gritting their teeth, hanging in, but still leading. Holroyd, short pass. Not the best of passes, but play on, says uh, Mr Cummins. It's anybody's ball. Middleton is in there, and he gets it. Good refereeing there by uh, Mr Cummins. He played advantage. And it's Castleford snapping at these uh, Leeds uh, heels. And uh, Jim Fallon on the right wing for Leeds is still not moving at all freely. He got a bang to the knee earlier and uh, he st obviously wouldn't be at full pace in any crucial part of this game. And it's the part of the difficulties that Leeds have got now that they've got the restriction over the Schofield business. I'm sure we must have some uh, points coming up shortly because I cannot see these uh, players keeping up this pace for the next half hour. Kemp looking for the drop goal. Play on, says uh, Mr Cummins, Lee's a little slow to get back. Craig Innes was watching that. One or two of the fans shouting for a knock-on from Cummins, but... Uh, from Francis Cummins, but uh, the ball going backwards. Mercer. Mercer again, picked up and dumped to the floor by Nickow. Both sides calling upon reserves of energy here now. Richie Ayres. Back to Hanley. Lowe's. Holroyd. Play on. Well, the player, Nickow, did not need to move out of the Holroyds away. You don't have to do. Ray, it's a power struggle at the moment, and I don't know what you think, Joe, but the next score will be very significant. But it could be it could be either team, Terry, that they're both playing football that could result in a try. It's fantastic, fascinating to watch in a, in a high-spirited, high-speed game. Crooks, superb short pass to Tony Smith. Kemp and Nickow combining. Kemp using Jason Flowers there as the decoy on that big tackle. Oh, that was a good move by Kemp. And once again, using that chip, race for that corner dash. Oh, Smith was in there, but Alan Tate was there first. Almost a try for Castleford. Tony Kemp, the influential standoff, teasing the league's defence with a super chip here. Alan Tate to the Scottish guy at full pace and a nice tidy up. A yeah, very good tactical kick here. Turns the Leeds defence, puts it into the in goal area. Alan Tate has to scamper across and relieve the pressure by putting the ball dead. I think uh, John Joyner, the Catherwood coach, Joe, has done a lot of work on the video. I don't think I've seen as many chip kicks and rubber kicks to the corners in a match for some time. I think John John has done a tremendous job with the cast of the team throughout. The style of play, he's calmed things down, they know when to attack and when to throw the ball around. Uh, he's done a fantastic job and they're reaping the benefits now. Sampson driving for the line, oh, he's just L short, great tackle there, and it's a try, a try by Dean Sampson, quick thinking, he played the ball to himself, you can do that, you can play it forward or behind, he kicked it through the marker's legs, dived in, and Sampson has what could prove a vital try, 18-8 for Castleford, Alan Tate pulls off a tremendous tattle here to stop Sampson in full flight, going towards the line. Completely stops his momentum, but then he must think the job's been done. Sampson gets up, kicks it forward, and scores a try. The power of Sampson here scatters the league's defence, and it's only that man Tate who brings off an excellent tackle.
But Samson, doing a great job for the intelligence factor of prop forwards, sees the defence at uh, disarray, and a lovely kick through for a great score. You're not saying, Terry, that prop forwards aren't intelligent, are you? They're not, if they're all like Dean Samson, Joe. Not a flicker of emotion on uh, John Joyner's uh, face, but certainly concentration. Concentration from this man. He'll be looking to keep that 100% record. Relishes the big occasion, does uh, Crooks. And that's why he's proved so valuable to uh, Castleford since signing from this uh, Leeds club here. Four goals from four, ticks that score out, 20 points to eight for Castleford. And Leeds now with a tremendous amount to do. You notice here on the replay, Samson drives the ball in, scatters the Leeds defence, Tape pulls off that super, superb tackle, but then the Leeds, Leeds players aren't quick enough to react. Quick thinking. I think Terry, I had two seasons as a prop forward, you know. <laughs> better watch what I say then, Ray. So, it's Castleford. In possession again. And really, one has got to take one's hat off to Castleford after that uh, tremendous defensive uh, stint, Joe. You know, they, I mean, they, they, just, they, they simply just gritted their teeth and kept at it, didn't they? And then to come back with a strike like that. Well, it must have been five minutes just totally on defence. They seem to have the ball for five minutes solid. And Castleford just held them out. Tremendous display of, of, of defensive and, and hard tackling. I think an interesting point on the try, Ray, was that players are conditioned to get off to play the ball quickly, and near the line, that can be very dangerous, as Thompson exploited. Lee Crooks. And it's these two prop forwards, Crooks and Samson, who are doing all the damage here to, uh, to Leeds. Kemp. Keeping play, moving forward, keeping Leeds, going back. Sensible play. It's a very interesting point there about the prop forwards. Terry mentioned it earlier. Castleford's props are more like the conventional props. They're driving, making hard yards down the middle, making the Leeds defence turn round, making those dents in there, making them work hard. Whereas Leeds tend to be running out wider, they don't seem to have the true prop. Well, in fact, if we look at the Leeds pack, we've got Gary Mercer there in the second row, who was uh, a wing. We've got Ellery, who was uh, who was a back. You know, and uh, George Mann and Faimalo both like to run out wide, don't they? Yeah, they like to run out wide, and Dougie Lawton's tactics is, is to deploy them that way, contrasting to uh, the straightforward style of, of Crooks and uh, Samson. But here's one man who does run out wide, Kevin Isles, a long time to go yet, over 20 minutes, Leeds can still come back in the, this rugby league as it is today. Richie Ayres. Good pass to Mercer, now then, that's the sort of run that Gary Mercer likes to make. Back to Jim Fallon, Leeds, hitting back, Kevin Iro. The Castleford players having difficulty getting back there, they're quite tired. Back to Holroyd, Holroyd, Tate, to Francis Cummings, Cummings, on the fifth tackle. Holroyd in two minds. Got a good tackle from Mercer. John Ray. will surely just uh, hold this ball in these forwards then get that ball back downfield with a huge kick this is the fifth tackle this is the kick we should be looking for from Kemp there it is just rolling dead just an inch too far the ideal kick is to stay in the in goal area put everybody on side of the chase that time it went a little bit too far. Twenty minutes for Leeds to stage a comeback. All oh, the holders, Castleford, move on for the semi-finals. Good ball, superb ball from George Mann, and a perfectly timed run there from Craig Innes. Leeds, Holroyd, Schofield, Mercer, Kevin Iroh on the wing there. 
Jim Fallon had moved temporarily inside. Neil Harmon doing the job of the old-fashioned prop, driving in from first receiver there, taking a leaf out of Sampson's book. Still leads, move it wide. All right, I think putting one kick too many in there, Terry. Yes, the, uh, the league's defence, uh, the past defence were in, in a ray, and they've turned the defence into attack. Super play from Cass. Oh, and a magnificent run here from Smith. But Holroyd retrieving the situation, he's got to get off Smith quickly. But it's Castleford back on the attack, driving in here. The youngster Flowers, good tackle from Hanley. Leeds on the rack again. This game moving from one line to the other. The switch from Castleford, Kemp, Hay. Good tackle again by Holroyd, that's two crucial tackles the teenage half-back for Leeds has, uh, has put in there. Richard Russell! The fifth tackle now then, will Russell attempt the same trick as Dean uh, Sampson? No. Tony Smith? No try. So, Leeds have got to work their way 100 uh, metres back to the other end of the field. But uh, that was some run by Chris Smith, wasn't it? Yeah, superb turning of defence into attack, and uh, he just didn't have the pace to fend off the last defender. But uh, if Castle would have scored there, it would have been uh, a very difficult task for Leeds to come back. No way through for Hooker James Lowe's. Schofield. She is bursting through. He can't get away from Middleton. Again, the determination of that Castleford centre. He was pushed off once, but back he came. Holroyd, that long midfield pass, but it's Castleford defence shuffling across. Back to Fallon. Schofield. Holroyd again, the high one. A Chester. Well taken. Well taken by Flowers. What a game this youngster's had, Joe. He's not put a foot wrong in defence and occasions he's coming to the attack well as well. He's been uh, superb at the back for Castleford. That was a towering up and under there from the Leeds attack and he takes it superbly with a, a big hit from Hanley. He's had a great game, this Flowers. Richie Blackmore. And there we see the amount of... Uh, Kicking we've had in this game, tactical kicking, good sensible kicking. There's another one. That was the perfect kick in the in-goal area, as we mentioned earlier. It means Leeds have to retreat, retrieve the ball and then try and the long slog to bring it back again. George Mann racing away. And that uh, is touch. Good run again by George Mann. No doubt about it, this leads pack very, very quick on the outsides. Mann, Mercer, Hanley. If they can make a, a gap, they'll take it. Here we see, but it's the other prop forward, Samson, who gets across. And the foot, the elbow, just goes into touch, and there's the foot as well. Flowers. And a penalty, holding down, holding down at the play of the ball. Well, I'm surprised they're not going for goal, Terry. I would have gone for goal there, uh, Lee Crooks is a great pressure kicker, and not least, it would have taken some time, and also given Castleford to readjust themselves, they're defending very well, but they're, they're obviously going to the last few minutes, uh, they need all that fitness. Very Scofie makes a tackle here, and does Flowers get up and play the ball? Well, Castleford displaying confidence in themselves to uh, grab another try, Still moving it this uh, side. Kemp, the dummy, to Nick who's going through, and Tony Smith is in! Well, we talked about uh, confidence, 
in this Catamaran side. I queried why they didn't go for goal, and that's why they burst that uh, Leeds defence open. It was a combination of quick, clever, short passes, and the youngster Tony Smith on the end of it for a try. The Kiwi connection uh, comes up trunks for Castleford. Kemp going across the field, dropping runners off, but this man Nico goes into the tackle, takes his arms over the top in superb execution, and that man, the close support play, and they've got the try. 14 favours of Brave. We all thought they should have gone for two points. They decided they wanted the try, and that's exactly what they got. Great support play again from Castleford. And is that the ball game? Is that the game over now with Castleford? Well, whether it's the end of Leeds or not, it's certainly a tough task to come back from this position. Leeds possibly realising that uh, maybe the end of the day, no one talking, that's always a bad sign. I'd be interested, Dre, to see what John Joyner thought of that. Whether he thought they should have taken the kick, I'm sure if he did, then he's biting his lip now. Lee Cooks then. Again, that 100% record is intact. Straight between the uprights, nod of satisfaction to Alan Agar, the Castleford assistant coach, and 26 points to eight in Castleford's favours. The holders are determined to hold on to this Regal trophy. This is the result of confident, classy running from Castleford. Straight up and down, and uh, that man, Nico, super execution. The confidence is booming, though. Yeah, we can see here Tony Kemp, but the thing that uh, really interests me is the look and the enthusiasm on uh, young Smith's face here. I think that's been reflected in this uh, Castleford side all the time. He drives in there, puts it down, Twelve minutes remaining, and I think we're in for some more tries yet. Well, it's not Castleford style to just consolidate the lead and, and keep all of the ball and kick. They want to score more tries. They're a side that enjoys to entertain. And we're looking for some more points here, I'm sure, ahead of me. And something of a dilemma for the Castleford coach, John John. He'd like to make some changes, but the team are doing so well. He's keeping Nathan Sykes and Martin Kettridge warmed up, and maybe, maybe they'll come on in about five minutes' time. But when asked Alan Agard who's going to make any changes, he said, well, maybe we will, but they don't want to change the team that's doing so well at the moment. Well, that, that's always a good sign. It's not very often that uh, the substitutes don't get on the field these days, quite early. But such as the balance in this uh, Castleford side, such as the determination, it would be difficult to... Uh, to change, Joe. Yeah, nothing much in the statistics, Ray, but we, we know the score, the one statistic that matters, the scoreline. Castleford have been more incisive, more direct, and that we know that from the, the score. Going back to the substitutes, Ray, I'm sure it's a, it's a position that Leeds would love to be in. They haven't got any, any uh, substitutes, they can't use them. They've had that problem with Gary Schofield in the, in the blood bin incident. And I'm sure they, uh, Doug Lawton, the Leeds coach, wishes he had a couple of fresh legs to put on. Flowers, gaining in confidence. Significant Flowers took that without any Leeds pressure at all. The spirit seems to be oozing from this Leeds side now, Ray. There are certainly no runners there, uh, Terry, you're right. Andy Hay, there are runners here now from Castleford. Jason Flowers in particular. Ken, Nickow. <laughs> Dean Sampson. Wanting the ball, difficult to put down, taking two men there, George Mann and Schofield. Tony Kemp. Jim Fallon sensibly letting the ball go into touch as the substitutions are to be made by the Castleford coach, John Joyner, and it looks like Martin Ketteridge to come on. Another tactical kick there from Kemp, just pushing it towards the touchline. Kemp's had a good kicking game, Joe. He has, in all departments, whether it be attack or, or just to get his team down the field, he's kicked very, very well. And a very experienced forward coming on for the young Sandy here. 
Martin Ketteridge, we've seen him many times on grandstand. Offside. Just under 10 minutes remaining. Leeds with, well, the face of the eager to climb, if you could say that. Tremendous uh, pressure they've been under. Harmon. Schofield and Holroyd in midfield still trying to launch this uh, big centre, Kevin Iro, but he's been well handled, Joe, hasn't he? Yes, they've looked after him very well in the back line. When I read the teams on paper, I thought that he might have the edge in size and power. But he's sent them in police well and tackled well by the Castleford centres. Hanley finding no way through. Well policed there by uh, Blackmore. And look at that drop forward that was over there as well, Dean Sampson. Schofield. Dean Sampson's covering game has been superb. We saw him just a few moments earlier covering the other side. And you see the effort that he put in to get across to Hanley there. Which he is looking to get the ball away, but it was well clamped by uh, by Tony Smith. Holroyd. Just uh, rolling dead. Minutes, seconds ticking away against Leeds here. 26 8 for Castle. We mentioned at the start of the game that there were eight Kiwis on display. And, uh, and all credit, they've played very well. But it's a good sign for the English game when you see people like Flowers, youngsters come into the game, like Cummings, Holroyd. We've had tremendous games here. British based players who I'm sure will stand British will be in good stead in the future. Certainly true, Joe. Cooks. One man who set the example. British beef stock through and through. Lee Crooks. Kemp. Again, Kemp piling the pressure on Tate. Middleton racing for it. Oh, and good, uh, good run. Simon Middleton very, very kindly just inquiring of Alan Tate there. He uh, had a knock to the back. Kemp has got a wide repertoire of kicking skills. These chips over the top, turning the defence, and with the, the wind behind Kasbach, the spirit in the lungs, and they're really on top now. Super kick here from Kemp. He just holds back. It's like a little send wedge in golfing terms, and that is teasing the Leeds defence. And Tate is solid as ever. Nathan Sykes, another young step for Lee Crooks. Definitely not wanting to be substitute. Dean Sampson takes three to take him down. There was extra time scheduled in the event of this match uh, being a draw. Both sides had uh, feared that such was the quality. There might be a draw, but no hesitation at all. Tony Smith is in there. All thoughts of a draw evaporated long ago. The youngster. Outstanding at scrum half, his tenth try this season, his second in this match, Tony Smith, and as uh, Joe Lydon was uh, indicating, good youngster of British stock. 30 points to eight, comprehensive defeat, and a set move, I think, Joe. Definitely set move, the double switch behind the play of the ball, Kemp to Nico, Smith coming back on the angle, steps Hanley and goes through the gap for a try. That was definitely a planned move and one that worked very, very well. Varying the attack, pulls people around out of position, and this is what Castleford have done. Kemp and Nico pulling the markers away, and a beautiful step off Tony Smith's right leg, and the joy is there to see. Great try. And that's the joy I was talking about, Terry, isn't it? Yeah, he's had a good game of Smith, support play, close to the ball carriers, and he's picked up uh, the points as necessary. And uh, Martin Ketridge, uh, a regular kicker at uh, Castleford over the years, taking the kick being successful in the absence of Lee Crooks, who has been substituted. 32 points to eight for Castleford, and Joe, 
Could I remind you of that final last year against Wigan? This is the sort of form that they showed then, isn't it? Well, they, they're quite careful of this to, this to play, this kind of football. You know, they can turn it on, and if teams let them, then they'll run riot. And here we see an example of that uh, running riot. The switch move between the two Kiwis, Kemp and Nikau, and hurtling on at pace at an angle, which is always very difficult for a player to stop. Tony Smith. And here at Casabin again, Nikau charging 40 yards down the middle. Looking for more points. Sampson shrugs off a couple, drives to that 20 metre line. Playing like men possessed, and there's a penalty. James Lowe's pulling him over in the act of playing the ball. Lowe's knows that. He can't get away with it with the eye of Mr Cummins. Here we see powerful charging run. And then just watch this. He tries to play the ball. He pulls him over. Dean Sampson would have been my man of the match, Ray. I don't know that a few could pick on this uh, on this Castle team. All the Leeds players have played well as well. But you look at Flowers for me, a lad who came in under immense pressure at fullback, a youngster. Nobody was quite sure how he was going to perform. He's not put a foot wrong, and I'm sure he's put a lot of confidence towards his teammates as well. And uh, Martin uh, Catteridge taking the goal just for five minutes uh, remaining. Not really of any great relevance to the outcome of this match, but at least it gives, I think, the Castleford players a breather. I think that's what they want. And he collects two points, no harm in that. Moves uh, Castleford even uh, further ahead. 34 points to eight. Castleford captain, uh, Lee Crooks. Uh, Lee, not that Leeds have been off this game, but every chance Castleford have had, they've nailed in a great performance. Yeah, well, we, we knew that we had to play to our best today to beat Leeds. We've been playing very well, and we've just done that. You know, we've controlled the ball extremely well. I think our forwards have played absolutely out of this world. And at the end of the day, you know, that forward momentum's got us the chances and the backs have took them. I heard by what you said that when you came back to the bench, you were very pleased about this game. Well, yeah, it's always nice to come back to Leeds and, and win. It's something that I haven't done. For a long, long time, and uh, to win in the, the, the way that we have done is uh, except, exceptionally sweet. Thanks, Lee. Well played. Lee, Lee Crooks with the breath to to carry on speaking, Joe. I think that was tape before. I don't think Lee's actually said that. Then I'm sure he must be very, very tired. I think <laughs> that was a, that was a pre-match tape recording. Well, they must have been confident if they tape recorded that pre-match. Sampson. This early. Smashing players off, but he lost the ball on that occasion. Just coming up to the final minute now. Francis Cummins hasn't really uh, managed to evade the, uh, the Casabit cover. James Lowe's. Hanley looking for a consolation try. Four more tackles in this sequence, left for Leeds to grab a try. Mercer, dummies with Innes, back to Iro. Desperate pass from Kevin Iro, picked up by Mercer. But all credit to this uh, Castleford cover, they've tackled their hearts out. Leeds have swept them from one side of the field to the other, just like this. But always there have been two or three Castleford defenders there. Terry, I'm sure it's a fair comment to say that they slide so well, the Castleford defence, they move across, they mark up, and if the man passes the ball who they're marking, then they slide off him and go to the next man. Yeah. Superb execution of defence, they, they scramble well and they tackle well, uh, they perform absolutely superbly today on attack and defence. A try for Henry Hanley. The ball ricochet off the post. Mr Cummins saying that uh, Hanley and the Castleford defender touched down simultaneously. That gives the advantage to Hanley in a simultaneous touchdown. We must look carefully at this, Joe. Well, a kiss of death from the commentators. We said that Castleford had defended well. I don't know, I think that Flo has got to that ball. I, I think that the referee gave Elry the try there. 
I think it was a try, Joe. Uh, good, a good grubber kick from Ellery. Just reminded us how good he is right at the, uh, the end of this game. And it's just on the line. And same time, try. Yeah. I don't think John Joyner, the Castleman coach, will be too bothered, Joe. No, I'm coming back to the point you made earlier. You have to have demo pressure, and Ellery Hanley did that there. So, yes, I have to agree with Terry and yourself. That was a try. The goal by the youngster, Holroyd. But there is the hooter. No further playing. Castleford progressing to the third successive semi-final next weekend. Dean Sampson there, uh, the man of the match, certainly for my money. No quibbles with that um, with that vote. He's had a powerful game, driven hard in uh, midfield, and he and his team must be confident of repeating their Regal Trophy win. Unbeaten now in the last nine Cup and League matches and hitting form at exactly the right time. I can't see any of tomorrow's quarter-final round winners being particularly keen to draw these in the semi-final when it's made on Radio 5 at 5-6 to six tomorrow. Lee Crooks played his part as a skipper, set the example. Tony Kemp, good performance. John Joyner, congratulations. That was a sweet and a very impressive victory, I guess. Yeah, we played well, we came here full of confidence. You know, I think we were written off through the week by a lot of people, but uh, we come here, you know, and done the business. It was a time in the first half when Leeds looked to be edgy. Get. Were you a bit anxious before half-time? Not really, no, we were in the lead at half-time, you know, we'd control the game for long periods. I thought we just had to do that, and we would score points in the second half, which we did. It was an outstanding example of taking chances, really, wasn't it? Everyone nailed in. Yeah, that's right, you know, with a, a lot of good players here at Castleford, I think some people seem to forget that, and, uh, you know, when chances come along, we'll take them. So this, uh, you'd like to hang on to this trophy, I guess? Yeah, we'd like to hang on to this trophy, you know, we'll not give it up without a fight, and uh, we'll have a good go for the other cups as well. Any choices for the semi-finals? I had the same feeling about you and me.